Good day, three times. Um, we are looking at mother to mother um, this week. Um, last term, we looked at chapters one up to chapter five. If you remember very well, um, chapter five primarily spoke about the forced removals. Now, just to rewind your memories a bit. Remember, we said mother to mother is simply one mother writing to another mother, not as a form of an apology, but to get Amy Biel's mother to realize lifestyle that the black majority experienced during apartheid. Now, he reflects upon the good old times when they lived in Blovely before the upheaval or before the forced removal. He talks about the serenity or the peacefulness of Blovely where everybody knew one another, where everybody was friendly towards one another. But because of these forced removals, they found themselves in Guguletu. Now, Guguletu looks like a melting pot where black people from all over South Africa were brought together. The children had to begin new schools, had to begin making new friends and they had to adjust to an overall situation where they could no longer sit and talk to their parents. Their mothers and fathers woke up very, very early to begin work whilst the children were still asleep. And when they woke up to prepare to go to school, the parents were already gone. And when they came back to, uh, from school, they could easily go to bed before the parents arrived. So that detachment is one of the major concerns of the author that the children no longer had the guidance and the monitoring that, that was required. So these forced removals created a social gap between parents and they are children. Now this descended into a situation where the children became riotous, the children were out of control, and they developed a new system of punishing individuals that they tried and um, concluded that they were either informers or they were traitors, per se. So they would put a car tire around their waist, add a fuel, and light the people until they burnt to death. Now, Sinwe Magona, the author, is um, making us aware of how the children became violent, how they became inhumane, how they became feelingless, how they transcended to barbarism. Authorities did not do anything about it as long as it was a crime from a black person to a black person. But now, because this crime was committed against one of their own, BBL, there was you and cry, there was mayhem, and the police how to get the culprits, the people that had murdered Amy Biel. So as we begin uh, chapter 6, we witness a police raid upon Mandisa's house and the replications of that raid. 